Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Mezco 6 inch series Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. My second favorite Mortal Kombat character. Uh, you guys know I like Sub-Zero and Scorpion so I had to get this guy and I am not disappointed that I did. He stands about just shy of 16 centimeters which makes him about six and a quarter inches and I am pretty pleased. The sculpt is really good. Not nearly as detailed as Sub-Zero, but that's just because that's not how he's designed. But everything that should be there is there. You can see all the stuff packed in around the chest, the arms, the sides. Everything looks really, really good. His feet do seem a little bit big to me. I noticed that his feet seem rather large. Other than that though, he looks really good. Uh, he does come with some accessories. I'll look at those really quick right now. We've got the two gripping hands for his swords. So, bam, we have swords, nicely done. And then he's got the two open hands, which are for use with the chains and spears. And the cool thing about these is you just peg them in with the hands. I'm assuming that'll work because that's how it looks like it's supposed to work, but I can't really get it in right now. And, well, I'll play around with that and I'll try to do it for the photos at the end, but it looks like it's supposed to go in like that. There's really no directions with the figure, but you can imagine how that would work, and I'll try to get that done for the photos for you guys. But this guy, for the price point, you can't beat him. Just like Sub-Zero, the articulation's kind of limited. His is a little bit better, actually. And then just the paint and sculpts are so good. They're shading throughout all of the pants and the uniform and the, the top part. There's just no paint work, really, on the skin. But everything else looks pretty good. I like the way they did the hood so that you could move the head around and still have the hood. It feels like maybe it should have been glued on a little bit farther forward, but that's not a huge deal. And then he has a removable mask, which is a really cool feature. The mask looks good, doesn't look too big. When it comes off, he's got a face underneath, though I'm told his face is nowhere near what it looks like in the game. So anybody that plays the game can comment on that and let me know. It's disappointing if it's not accurate, but I would leave the mask on anyway because he looks way cooler with it. So I'm happy about that. The eyes do seem to be a little small. Maybe a repaint on that would fix it up, but still looks really good. Shoulder articulation is the fixed hinge. He does have a little bit better range of motion than Sub-Zero, so that's kind of good. I think he's a little narrower, so maybe that's why, but no bicep swivel, but we do get the hinge and the swivel in there. We got our bicep swivel down here in the elbow, so that's pretty functional. It's not ideal, but it'll work. Almost 90 degrees, not too bad. And then we get the wrist swivel and the hinge, so that's all right. Uh, his torso actually has a ball peg, just very limited. So not nearly as good as a diaphragm. And again, I would love a higher end version of this guy from Mezco with a diaphragm joint. I think that would suit the figure very well. But we do get at least a basically a waist twist, so that's okay. And then the hips are mostly the same as the Sub-Zero. We get that ball peg ball socket in the upper hip and then a thigh swivel if I can do it. It's kind of stuck right now but he does have a thigh swivel. This one works I know. So pretty good range of motion. The knee has the hinge and the swivel as well. Then the ankle is just a ball peg but he gets a little bit better range of motion than Sub-Zero. So posing this guy it's not going to be great but it's, it'll be doable and since the sculpt and paint is so clean and so nice on these guys Definitely recommend them, 100%. Stick around for some photos at the end. I'll put the ninjas together and some other figures so you can see what, they, what they're like. But really, really nice figures, especially for the price point. Super happy with them. I think you guys will be too. Check out Big Bad Toy Store. The link in the description below. You'll be able to get yourself a set of these guys. Get them before they sell out. Those crappy Jazzwares ones are worth a pretty penny now because they're Mortal Kombat and they sold out, even though they're no good. Uh, even the original ones that were a little bit better, they're still no good compared to these and those sold out. So make sure you get these before they are gone. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.